Hello again, guys. We once again have another episode of Paleo Profile, and you guys surprisingly guessed it. From this guy, to that guy, to that guy, to even... Oh dear God. Yes, surprisingly a great deal of you guys guessed this week's prehistoric creature, but the one who guessed correctly first is Emil Cribs and Hinte of that. Congratulations to all that participated. And yes, today we are looking at... Brianasuchus. Hopefully that's pronounced right. Before we start, I want to remind you guys that all copyrighted images shown inside my videos belong to their respected owners, and for now on, I will give full credit to their creators and a link to their websites. I had some trouble with that a few days ago and almost received a copyright strike, so I have learned my lesson for sure. That being said, let us look at... Prionosuchus. Yes, Prionosuchus was discovered in Brazil in 1948. Prionosuchus was a giant prehistoric... Amphibian, a distant relative to salamanders and frogs, living during the late Permian about 270 million years ago. You know, before the mass extinction. Estimated to be 4.5 meters, or 14.7 feet in length, and having a weight of 363 kilograms, or 800 pounds, Prionosuchus is the largest amphibian ever discovered. Prionosuchus is an excellent example of convergent evolution. The creature had a powerful paddle-like tail adapted for swimming, an elongated and tapering snout, numerous sharp teeth, and a long body. The creature pays a remarkable resemblance to modern-day crocodiles, particularly the gharial, leading paleontologists to believe Prionosuchus filled an ecological niche very similar to modern-day crocs, an ambush predator preying on primitive sharks, lungfishes, and other amphibians, living in rivers and lakes. We know very little about Prionosuchus due to it having very few fossils. Like some other related amphibians, maybe Prionosuchus had external gills like the axolotl, and maybe it didn't. We simply don't know a whole lot about this guy. Besides the fact Prionosuchus lived a lot like a crocodile, yet was an amphibian. Prionosuchus and most other related amphibians died out during the Permian mass extinction, which killed over 90% of all life on Earth. Only a few other related amphibians survived to actually see the dinosaurs, the last one being Coolosuchus, which survived until the early Cretaceous. Unfortunately, Prionosuchus has been featured very few times in pop culture. The only example I could find was this poster from a foreign film called Back to the Permian 4D. The rest I really can't make out. I don't read Japanese. Oh, and I guess this might count. The only reason this time we have a 3D model of Prionosuchus was because I actually made it for an abandoned short film documentary about Permian animals, like Prionosuchus. So that's about all Prionosuchus gets pop culture wise. Relatives of Prionosuchus have been featured in Jurassic Park Builder, Primeval, Walking with Dinosaurs, and Walking with Monsters, one being Coolosuchus and the other being a Labyrinthodont. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to watch the next episode, which will be about one of these creatures. Oh yes, the next time we will look at supersized prehistoric ancestors. Please choose which one you would like to be featured in the next episode. Titanoboa, the massive relative to boa constrictors. Megalodon, do I even need to give this one an introduction? Or Arthlopleura, the massive prehistoric relative to modern day centipedes. Please, tell me which one you want to feature in the next episode. And the one with the most amount of votes will be featured first. And remember, I'm the Explainer. And thanks for watching.